What's up, guys? That's right. We're going to be talking about the key benefits of owning a diesel truck and also not so good benefits when you're buying a diesel truck. So for those that haven't been watching my videos, hey, I drive a 5th Gen Cummins. And talk about the pros of owning and buying a diesel Cummins or a diesel Duramax or any diesel whatsoever. All right, so first and foremost, number one is going to be torque. Torque on your diesels are going to be insane. They're going to be almost double of what your gas engines are being able to do. So for this vehicle, Torque is 850 pounds, foot-pounds of torque. There's other trucks that are already at 1,000, 1,100 foot-pounds of torque. So as soon as you hit the gas, massive power. All right. So that all comes down to your torque in the, in the diesel engine. Okay. Now, the other pro of that is towing. When you have a lot of torque, you can tow pretty much anything out there that you want to you're not going to have any problems towing when it comes to towing on this truck i can tow up to almost close to 19,000 pounds and that's pretty impressive now there are some other trucks and this is generally speaking on a 2500 but on a 3500 they're trucks that are towing to 30 to 35,000 pounds which is very amazing I mean, you're talking 10, 15 years ago, trucks were only towing 10 to 15,000 pounds. Well, talking about towing, when it comes to the towing for a gas engine, you can only tow roughly about 15,000 pounds. So with that capabilities of you're wanting to haul cows or you're wanting to pull, you know, Anything down the road, truck, car, whatever, you're only limited. Now, if you have a diesel, in my eyes, diesels can pretty much pull anything. Number three is going to be tuning. Now, you can still tune a gas engine, but when you put a tuner on it, you're going to get maybe 40, 50 horsepower out of it. You're not going to get much. Now, unless it's got like a supercharger or anything like that, but we're talking about heavy-duty trucks here, okay? So, tuning is definitely available where you can do massive gains. I'm talking 150 to 200 more horsepower. You can add 200 to 300 pounds, foot-pounds of torque. And you can go, there's so many options that you can do on these diesels. The other benefit of having a first gen or a what we would call a first uh, production model of a fifth gen 2019, 2020, and even 2021s, there is a lot more options available than there are for the 22s and up. Now they have finally got broke into some of the computers on the 22s, but that's the thing. There's a lot more restrictions on the newer trucks than there are on the older trucks. And so many people are getting away from those new trucks because of the restriction. Number four. When you crank up a diesel truck, the sound is amazing. To me, I love the sound of a diesel. It, it, it just has a unique sound. Now, I'm not talking about so much on the engine point of it. I'm talking about what comes out of the exhaust. The engine does have a unique sound to it. A lot louder compared to a gas engine. But the sound when a diesel is going down the road, you know it's a diesel when you hear it. So that is the difference when you have, you can have a gas engine and say you have a Ram 6.4. I mean, it's got a big Hemi in it. Please sit down, Miko. We're having a video. 
you can have a gas engine with a 6.4 in it, put flow masters on it, you know, you can do a full exhaust and it sounds good. Don't get me wrong, gas engines sound great with exhaust. But to me, when it comes to a heavy duty truck like this, the diesel sounds so much better and you know that that truck means business. Number five, and I'm gonna leave it at number five on the pros, is when you buy this diesel truck, you know that you're going to drive this truck for a long time. Now, a lot of people used to buy Chevy gas trucks because, and even Toyotas. Toyotas are really, really big name for high miles. And you could get three to 400,000 miles out of them. But on a diesel, you can get a half a million miles to a million miles without any problems. It's like, it's like owning a mini semi. It just depends on how you take care of it. And yeah, some people might say, oh, well, the gas engine, as long as you take care of it, you can get about that many miles on it too. But the thing is, it will not perform the same way. I mean, you can still tow with this thing, three, 400,000 miles, as long as you're you know, staying up with your maintenance is going to last a very long time. Now, the cons. We're going to talk about the cons now of owning a diesel. And the first con that I want to say is maintenance. A lot of people are always like, oh, well, what's the cost? How does it cost the maintenance? Well, I'm not going to lie. The cost of maintenance is it's a little bit more. It might be a lot more depending on where you're getting your maintenance done. Now, me personally, I go to a drive-thru and I get my oil changed there. I get all my fluids topped off. I get my rear end topped off. Whatever needs to be done. And it's roughly about $100. Now, to get regular maintenance done and do all your maintenance done at a dealership on a gas engine, oil change, tire rotation you're probably looking at $100. So you get a little bit more bang for the buck. And you also don't have to pay for fuel filters. You don't have to get that stuff on a gas engine as you would on a diesel engine. The, the diesel engines, you have to buy fuel filters every 20,000 miles. And that is an additional cost. And if you don't know how to do it, then yeah, you're going to spend more money on that as well. You also need DEF fluid, DEF fluid, we call it. You need DEF fluid whenever you're driving these trucks. That's an additional maintenance cost. So that's another added expense for those um, when it comes to maintenance. But what you use the truck for will offset the difference. Number two on the con of owning a diesel. It is a lot louder. Some people have complained about the loudness of a diesel. But many people only complain about the engine noise, not so much the exhaust noise. Because they're trying to quiet it down. One of the things that they've been doing is they've been changing the lifters out of them. But they've been having problems with the lifters making more noise. And now they're having problems with lifter failures. So that's one of the things, you know, they always say that saying goes, if it's not broke, why fix it? That's a perfect example. And when it comes to being loud, your gas engine is pretty quiet. Some, some cars and trucks, you can walk up and you can't even tell they're running. Diesel? No. You can tell it's running. But the good thing about a diesel is you can let it idle. And it will stay running ice cold AC the whole time it's on. Gas engine? No. Can't do that. Gas engine, you sit there and let it run idle, the AC will start to run warm. Number three. Cost a lot to fill up. I'm not going to lie. It costs a lot more to fill up. One reason is... Diesel has gone up these last few years. The cost of diesel used to be, now this is back probably 
late 90s. Um, diesel was cheaper. It is cheaper. But they realized that, hey, there's more people driving diesels when it comes to semis and, next, you know, getting our products and our, our vegetables and everything that we need, tools. Everybody's running diesels. Number four, I'm going to say is the cost. Your initial investment when you buy this diesel is going to cost you twelve, fifteen thousand dollars $15,000 more because it's a diesel engine. Why does it cost so much more? Because the longevity. When you go to resell it, the, the value is increased. I mean, they hold better value. They're more reliable. So yes, when... When they see those things, the cost is going to be higher whenever you buy. So you can buy a gas truck for twelve to fifteen thousand dollars cheaper than you can for the diesel. Especially if you're trying to get, you know, all the bells and whistles on a diesel. You're gonna pay the premium. So be prepared. But remember what I said. If you're using it for the right purposes, it will pay for itself. For for what I need it. When it comes to hauling and, you know, moving cows around, towing anything I need to tow when I need to, 1500s are very limited. They can only tow, you know, 8,000 8, pounds, 10,000 pounds at the most. So you can't really move heavy equipment around if you need to. So there's your pros and cons of owning a diesel. And... I would tell you, if you're going to utilize the truck the way it needs to be done, then buy a diesel. If you're not, and you're just going to run around in the streets, and you're going to keep it as, you know, then maybe you don't need a diesel. Maybe you need a gas. But if you're like me, and you want to have best of both worlds, then just be prepared. But with that, guys, I do appreciate you guys watching. We are... uh my next my next move on this truck is we are going to do the intake horn i had a few hiccups the smetting diesel intake horn did not work bought a banks fuel line tried that with a smetting diesel intake still did not work and what smetting diesel told me is you have to modify the fuel line your stock fuel line to make it work which i don't really want to do so what I did was I ended up getting a pusher intake, which will be here in the next day or so. So we're going to get that on. And I'm super happy that we're going to be able to finally get that on and see what kind of performance that we're going to get out of it. So far, I've been super happy with all the upgrades that I've done. If you haven't, watch some of my other videos on all the upgrades that I've got done to this truck to help you on your next purchase. We'll see you guys on the next one. Have a good day.